Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of these Everlast MX 2.0 Profite Gloves. Stay tuned. All right guys, so today we have these Everlast MX 2.0 10 ounce XL Profite Gloves. We'll do a close up weigh in and review on. Uh, these MX gloves are Everlast introduction into the MX or Mexican style boxing glove line. They do have their Velcro as well as lace-up training gloves that I did a review on a while back. Um, and Everlast pretty much got into this to join the Mexican made segment, much like Reyes. So they're kind of a direct competitor of Reyes and Grant. Um, and you can see here it has a really nice high quality leather that they use. Uh, this particular color is going to be the black and white color scheme black being on the back of the hand compartment and then white on the wrist as well as on the palm side with a little bit of yellow um, you have the everlast logo you can see the leather has a nice shine to it much like reyes has a really strong leather smell you can see the texture this is a foam and horsehair blend on the inside you can definitely tell when you put your hand against it aside from the leather being very wrinkly you can just see how soft and broken in these gloves are. Now the intention of a lot of Mexican style gloves is they really wanna make the glove softer, more of a puncher style glove. I know you guys use that use that and hear that term a lot, but the puncher style glove is gloves that are pretty soft. And again, if you're gonna get hit by this glove, um, you're definitely gonna feel the knuckles. They come through a lot more than more of a denser layered foam or protective style fight glove than these do. So a lot of offensive minded fighters and guys that, um, especially Mexican style, come forward type fighters that really like to um, beat their opponents into submission, these are going to be the kind of gloves they like to use. Typically see them wear Reyes or these MX fight gloves. They also like these because these gloves are good in training, especially on the mitts. If you really want to feel the feedback from your punches and making sure that you're using correct technique, um, you can really feel your knuckles come through um, on, on these gloves. So uh, for those that really want that nice, loud bang and pop, these gloves will definitely do it. If you do have brittle hands or had injuries um, or knuckle issues, then I definitely would be very wary of using this for any kind of heavy bag work and limit that especially with mitts, just because these gloves are not, not meant for sustained protection. Um, and you can see here the white leather on the palm side. You do have a medium-sized grip bar that has nice firmness to it. And that double stitching, the yellow piping around the thumb. It says choice of champions right there. You can see the stitching. And like anything else Mexican made, you can see the quality is all there. You don't really see any issues with the stitching. White attached thumb, stitching on the edges. Looks really good. And then the inside liner uses that satin polyester liner that's good for wicking away moisture. You do have about a half inch layer of foam on the back of the wrist, and I'd say about an eighth of an inch on the front. Now, this is a profile glove, so there's not going to be a huge emphasis on support or having a rigid glove like you would with a training or a bag glove. And again, you can see just how soft these gloves are. They're not... Again, they're meant for a pro fight. So if you're looking for something that's very supportive and you want a lot of, you want to use it for training and, and that's going to be your primary training glove, just keep in mind these are more, to me in my eyes, are more of a supplement for training because their intention is for a pro fight. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale, see how much they weigh. <clears throat> Being 10 ounces, I would assume. Put that on there with the laces as well. Put that on top. So these are about 10.1, 10.2 ounces. They're, they're pretty much almost on point with weight. Let's go ahead and do the left glove. And the same thing with the left glove, um, 10.2. So they're exactly the same weight. Both gloves are the same weight to each other. Uh, just 0.2 ounces over uh, weight. So I'm not sure what the uh, athletic commission, what the difference in weight they allow. Uh, but they're pretty much true to weight to 10 ounces and to each other. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm excited to bring you guys a review of these Everlast MX 2.0 Pro Fight Gloves. I've got mine in black and white. You can also get this in all white and all red. I do know that some Pro Fighters also get theirs custom colored as well as different custom designs with their Everlast uh, MX Pro Fight Gloves. Uh, sizing wise, you can get this between 8 to 10 ounces. They also make this 10 ounce XL model. 
uh, usually for the big super heavyweights, guys with bigger hands. Um, eight ounces is for people that are 146 pounds and below, and uh, 10 ounces typically for 147 pounds on up. So just depending on what weight class you fight on uh, was, will determine uh, what size glove that you get. Now again, you can see that this is definitely a compact style glove, Mexican uh, made glove, all made in Mexico, it uses Mexican style leather. It does use a uh, foam and horsehair blend on the inside. So this is definitely more of a puncher style glove, much like the Cleto Reyes. I think uh, when Everlast first came out with their MX glove line, uh, their intention was to compete with the brands like Reyes and Grant. Um, and I think they do a pretty good job of actually making a really nice high quality glove. Um, and you can see here, it's really good looking. I think they do a really nice job of not overdoing the design. You do have kind of that classic Everlast logo on the back of the glove. Um, the only thing that really signifies it being in the MX glove is gonna be these smaller logos like the MX 2.0 uh, right here on the thumb. You also have the Made in Mexico logo uh, right here on the bottom of the flat cuff. You do have Choice of Champions right here on the side of uh, the palm right here. Uh, but outside of that, it looks pretty simple and clean, which I really like uh, with this glove. Um, you can get the MX glove also as a training glove. They make it in Velcro and lace-up, which are the larger, uh, a little bit more protective with the training gloves. Uh, where these MX Pro Fight gloves, obviously the intention is to use these in the fight. Um, with how broken in this glove feels, I would definitely be very wary of using this in your training. If you are going to use this in your training, I would probably limit to mostly just mitt pad work. Um, if you're planning on using it for bag work, be very mindful that the foam isn't intended to last very long for sustained heavy bag work. So if you do use it for that, um, one, you'll find that your knuckles are gonna come through pretty easily. So if you have any hand injuries, wrist injuries, any kind of discomfort around your knuckles, you'll definitely feel that with these gloves. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to use that uh, for those training purposes. Now, again, looking at this glove, it's definitely more compact. Uh, I have about a medium sized hand. I'm about, depending on what I ate that day, 145 to 150 pounds. Um, and with these 10 ounce XLs, they actually fit me perfectly. I slide my hand in there. Um, they feel really nice and comfortable. So sizing wise, I could imagine if you're a heavyweight, um, these will fit you very snug. If you're, um, you know, 5'8", 5'10", um, 140, 150 pounds, these will fit you really nicely. Um, not super tight or not super loose, kind of right there um, at the perfect size. Um, you can see quality wise, this is definitely a top notch quality glove. Uh, one thing about the leather that you notice, it's very wrinkly. It has a really nice shine to it and it has a very strong uh, leather smell that you notice right when you pull these out of the box. Um, you can see the leather is really nice, high, thick, uh, has a nice thickness to it. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. It is definitely wrinkly, you can see that there. But the texture is very nice and the stitching on this glove is very good as well. You can see that I didn't find any, any issues with the stitching pulling through typically on some of the stress areas like where the thumb connector is at, along the seams of the thumb where the back of the, the leather connects to the front palm side or the, the thumb side. You can see the, the, the stitching is done very nice reinforced there. Uh, the palm of the glove, you can see the grip bar is kind of angled. Um, so when you make a fist, you can actually feel that it feels pretty good. I mean, it doesn't give me any awkwardness, but again, the double stitching looks really good. Uh, on the grip bar, stitching on the yellow piping looks really good. And all along the actual palm, you can see here the stitching all looks really nice and clean. Uh, doesn't look like any shortcuts were taken. Doesn't feel like a mass produced glove. Now I know Everlast has definitely a different range of gloves. You can go to Dick's Sporting Goods, Target, I mean even Walmart sells some Everlast gear and that's the really low end stuff. So the, the difference between that stuff and this le level of glove they have is a huge difference. So I know a lot of times people associate uh, Everlast with being Neverlast and just making junk gear. And that's not necessarily true. They do make higher end stuff, Just you just have to pay for it. So um, you can see again, palm side looks really good. Um, leather on the back looks good. You do have about half inch of padding on the back of the wrist that has kind of more of a medium to soft feel to it. It's not super stiff. It's not like a stiffer EVA foam. Um, definitely more forgiving. Um, so when you get these late and when you get these gloves um, uh, tied off and taped over, if you're using this in profile, obviously your hands are gonna be wrapped. You're gonna slide them in here. You're gonna have them tied off and they're gonna be taped off. Um, so there's definitely a lot of flexibility with these gloves. You can see basically how soft they are. Um, just like a lot of other profile gloves, uh, there's not a lot of emphasis on, on wrist support, mainly because again, these are gonna be used for a, a sanctioned bout. They're not made for training. Uh, where training gloves, bag gloves, you're gonna have 
much more of an emphasis on a, a security on and risk support. You're gonna have some kind of buckle system. Rival does a really nice job of, of having their, their their gloves that have like the V-strap technology, where you can really like lock your wrist into place and you don't have any issues with your, your wrist hurting. You're gonna have a lot more denser foams, multi-layer foams. And then with this case, obviously the intent of this is to, to do as much damage as possible to your opponent, which is what you want. Um, so again, they use that foam horsehair blend inside there, but you can see it's a very flexible glove. Um, really well balanced glove as well. So you can see here, you know, even when I'm holding it like that, you have a little bit of sag, but it's not too much. Even on, on both ends, the glove is actually pretty well balanced, the, the, the weight is distributed. But again, this is a really soft glove to begin with. And then you have about an eighth of an inch of padding on the inside of the wrist that goes along right here. And that goes, let me just turn this around to right up here where the palm is so that, that padding is all on that side as well as on the thumb side. You can see the padding pretty much goes all the way to where the thumb is and it stops right there. And then the grip bar has a nice density to it. It's a little bit on the smaller side, uh, but you can see right here, it does have some firmness. It doesn't just push all the way in uh, when you push down on the grip bar. Um, so definitely overall like the quality. On, on the inside of the satin polyester liner, uh, which is definitely nice and smooth. I didn't have any issues with it bunching up um, on the inside. Sometimes you have gloves that have the fingertip area where you find some bunching up and, and that's uh, definitely not an issue with these gloves. Now, comfort of the gloves is really good. Um, it's almost right up there with the rival Guerreros. I still think that the Guerreros and even the Grant Pro 5 gloves are a little bit more comfortable, but these do have the same level of, of broken in soft feeling. So when you slide your hand in here, the only area I would still say, which is very similar to the Everlast Elite Profile Gloves, which are also made in Mexico. That's a review I did a couple of months back on those Elites. The only issue I've had with these is just this this thumb right here, this this thumb piping right here it, with my hand wraps on. You can kind of feel it digging into the finger. Uh, so what I've been end up doing is I get a, a towel or an old t-shirt and I just jam it in here to kind of loosen it up. So after I'm done training with this, I'll jam a t-shirt in here or just a, a towel. That way it kind of pulls a little bit out on this piping to kind of loosen it up. So that's really the only area that I felt was a little bit awkward, but the thumb is in a pretty good position. I don't feel like it jams. I have enough room there. I don't feel like there's too much padding on the backside, uh, which is really good. Uh, the finger compartment feels really nice. It feels very comfortable. It has a good uh, good width to it. I wish it was a little bit deeper, that it dropped in a little bit more, so I felt feel like my fingers can sink in a little bit further down but that gets offset by how soft and broken in it is. So I could definitely make a really good fist. There is no break-in period with this glove. I feel like right when you get it out of the box, it's, I mean, this, there's little to no effort to, for me to open and close my hand. Grip bar, grip bar is in a good position. The grip bar lands right about here on my hand. So when I roll over, I can really, you know, obviously you, the intention of the grip bar is you want it to be right there, kind of right where you're making that fist. So when you turn over, you have something to kind of grip onto. You don't want it to be too big because then you feel like your hand is doing one of those and you want it too small because then you don't have anything to grip onto. So I think they have a, they do a really nice job of, of placing the grip bar in a good position right there. So that all feels really comfortable. The liner feels good on the inside. You know, the wrist support is definitely good, serviceable for a fight glove. And the, the length of the laces are good as well to get that double wrap around that you're looking for when you lace this up, if you're gonna use this for mitt work um, or even for a profile, obviously. So. Um, overall, comfort's really nice. The only area I would say is a little awkward would be the thumb and loosening up this little piece of piping right here to make it even more comfortable. Uh, now, the performance of these gloves is definitely a puncher style glove. Uh, protection is not gonna be the biggest emphasis with this glove. Um, you can make an excellent fist. It has a really nice punching surface. The best part about this glove is the feedback. So when you make, when you make a connection with this glove, I mean, you know you, you've connected. You feel it. You can feel those two front knuckles really land right there. You get awesome crack out of this. You feel every punch that comes through and it just feels excellent as far as feedback goes. Again, that foam horsehair blend really lends to that. You, you get that crack and that feel. Now, um, if you do have ish, you know, issues or past history of hand injuries, um, then I would be very mindful of that. You can still get these gloves, but maybe have them on a rotation so that you don't end up re-injuring your hands because um, these are definitely not as protective as some of the other fight gloves I've tried. Definitely not as protective as a training or a bag glove, which those are intended to be more protective for sustained use. So keep that in mind. But for all intentions and purposes, for this to be a Mexican style puncher's glove, if you really want to do some damage, um, then these, these gloves are definitely good for that. Um, they feel really comfortable, perform really nicely. Cost-wise, these gloves are $149 through Everlast. Again, you can get it black 
uh, black, red, or white, um, eight to 10 ounces, 10 ounce XL. Uh, for $149, I actually think it's a really good value. I think it's a good deal considering the quality of the glove. Um, if you're looking for a puncher style glove, this definitely would be it. Um, it's right there, you know, kind of right there around the, the Reyes price point, maybe a little bit cheaper. And the great thing about Everlast um, is they often do sales throughout the year. I think they even have like a 15% off coupon uh, if you just sign up for their newsletter. So uh, the, the one drawback with their sales sometimes though is that they exclude some of the MX style gloves. So um, I always suggest getting the newsletter anyways. That way, whenever they do do sale, at least it gives you a heads up and you've been saving up your money to get them and you just don't want to pay full price. I don't like paying full price for anything. Anytime I do, I feel like I'm, you know, kind of shorthanding myself. So I always look for the good deals. And so I recommend that you go, you do the same. That way you save some money. There's nothing wrong with that. But I would definitely look for the sales and you can get these uh, for much cheaper than the $149 that they, um, they retail for. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Everlast MX 2.0 gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.